Hello everyone, I'm very excited to be doing this unboxing with you all. I received a phone earlier this week in the post, but I've waited until all my Inktober videos were uploaded before opening this. The outside of the box is protected by a simple card sleeve, and on the back of the package are the specs. This is the Umi Digi S2. I'll quickly run down on the main points. It's a 2.3GHz Helio P20 octa-core CPU with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of total internal storage. It's able to hold either two nano SIM cards or a combination of one nano SIM card and a memory card with a max capacity of 256GB on the memory card in the form of a microSD. It's got a 6 inch screen size with an 18 to 9 ratio. There's also a big 5100 mAh battery. It'll be interesting to see how it performs. And finally, the back has a 13 megapixel and a 5 megapixel dual camera, and a front 5 megapixel camera. There's more I want to mention about the specs, but I'll save the details for the review. For the time being, I want to keep my focus on unboxing and setting this up. I love intuitive packaging and this is one of these packagings which will get added to my collection. I love using them to store jewellery and other small accessories. The first compartment holds a phone and behind that lies an envelope containing the instructions manual and a pin to push out the SIM compartment. The phone itself already has the back protective case fitted. If I take this cover off, it reveals a sticker pointing to all the details of the phone. Moving on to the next compartment is a fast charger for plugging into the wall. I'm going to need to use this with an extra plug converter to use it in the UK. In the final compartment lies a cable for charging and a super short cable to convert the USB-C socket on the phone into a headphone jack. The phone comes with a plastic screen protector, so I'm going to need to buy a glass protector separately. I'm going to skip through the setup. It's an Android 6 operating system, which is easy to set up and pretty much all Android users ought to be familiar with. The most beautiful thing about this phone is the gorgeous colour reproduction of the screen. Obviously, I haven't had a chance to play around with the phone much, since I've only just unboxed it but the vibrancy and saturation of the screen is very noticeable. Later on when I do the full review, I'll be sure to take a photo of this rainbow yarn on my Canon 750D and then transfer this to the Umi Digi S2 as well as my iPhone and my Mac to see how good the colour reproduction really is. For the time being, I just wanted to quickly see how the colours show through on the back cameras and I'm very impressed, the colours show up on the camera really well. At the same time, it's important to consider that I'm recording under a lot of lighting at the moment. I've also noticed the camera produces really sharp images. I'm also comparing it to my battered Umi Super, which I've had for over 18 months. You can see the body of the S2 is slightly taller than the Super, but there's a big difference in screen size due to the bezel-less feature. Sure, it's not quite fully bezel-less like the new iPhone X, but the S2 is a budget phone and I think they've done a very good job of mimicking the Samsung S8 screen size and proportions. I installed Beach Buggy here and had a super quick play with one hand while holding my camera with the other hand. The game is running really smooth, but when I put the camera down so I could play properly, I felt the gaming experience was so much better than any phone I've used before. And I think there's a few factors that play a role in this. The combination of a large screen, the screen ratio, the slim body of the phone which makes holding the phone comfortable while playing all make the gaming experience feel really good. The Umi Digi S2 is what I would consider a mid-range phone which normally costs around about £190 in the UK. Gearbest who kindly sent me this unit after finding out that I was considering buying it currently have it on offer for £130 on their website. Prices do change along with offers, so I'm just quoting the prices at the time of creating this video. I'll be using the Umidi GS2 over the course of a couple of weeks to see how it performs with a range of games, audio quality, wireless signals, 4G signals, the camera and also the GPS. 
I did talk about buying the Elephone S8 in my September update video which I still plan on buying but I'm just waiting for the beautiful red version to be released. On a side note, Umi Digi is releasing the S2 Pro version which I believe will have 6GB RAM instead of 4GB RAM. I'm not sure if there will be a difference in uh, processing speeds and stuff like that with the CPU. At the moment the 8 cores aren't all 2.3GHz. I'll go into more detail with that in the full review. So this brings me to the end of my unboxing of the Umi Digi S2 with some initial thoughts thrown in. Hope you have a wonderful day guys, I'll be back with another video soon, but until then, bye!